Good morning, friends. Pastor Ashley here. Thank you so much for joining me again this morning uh, for another devotional. Just wanted to mention again our website, fortsaskalliance.com, and our online gatherings page. Make sure that you keep an eye on that for everything that's uh, coming up. We have some exciting uh, youth-related things rolling out hopefully next week, so make sure that you keep an eye on that, as well as our Facebook page. Everything that's uh, coming up for Easter, Good Friday, Easter Sunday, will be posted on our Facebook page as well, uh, so make sure that you keep an eye on that as well. I uh, just wanted to say, loved hearing from you yesterday in the comments about how uh, this whole situation is going for you. Love to hear that again today, so if you wanna let me know how you're doing, I'd love to hear from you in the comments or uh, in a private message as well. My email is adyoung at fortsaskalliance.com. You can email me through our website as well. Love to be praying for you. Would love to be in touch. Uh, so it is cold outside today. It's been snowing for the past few days. I will admit that I once again was naive and thought that spring was on the way. I've lived on the prairies my entire life. So you'd think that uh, I would have learned by now what could happen in April, that minus 25 with the wind chill could happen in April. But again, I always have hope in my heart and I think, oh, spring's on the way and I'm going to be planting my garden soon. Uh, but yeah, it's been snowy the past couple days. I uh, saw online that it is 17 today, minus 17 rather, minus 25 with the wind chill. And uh, that is unfortunate. It's cold. Uh, it's been gloomy for the past couple days. As I mentioned yesterday, we're on week three of self-isolation. Uh, just, you know, here in our home, uh, Josh and myself are two cats. And, uh, you know, it can feel like we're starting to go a little bit squirrely at times. And so it can seem right now that there is a lot uh, to be sad about, a lot to feel depressed about. And I've just listed kind of those surface things, not even talking about, you know, concerns over our loved one's health, over our own health, over the economy, our finances. And so, yeah, there's a lot to wake up uh, every morning and just feel blue about. There's a lot uh, to feel anxious about. But uh, we are called in the Bible uh, to be people who are rejoicing. And so I've attached at the top of this video the two scripture links that I'm going to read today if you want to go back and, and meditate on them uh, on your own time. But first we're going to go to Psalm 118. And we're going to read Psalm 118, 24. This is the day that the Lord has made. So this day right here uh, in Fort Saskatchewan, in Alberta, or wherever you find yourself, uh, this day where it's minus 25 with the wind chill and we're on our third week of self-isolation, this is still the day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and we will be glad in it. And so we see here um, a directive in scripture for us to be rejoicing, for us to be glad in this day that God has made. And then we're going to go over to Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. And it says, Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice. And so again, you might be hearing this and thinking, uh, you know what, I don't feel like I have anything to rejoice over. I feel overwhelmed. My kids are driving me nuts. I've been with my spouse nonstop for three weeks now and we're starting to get on each other's nerves or I'm stressed and I'm anxious. I don't know how I'm gonna pay my bills. There are so many things, like I said, uh, for us to just feel blue about, for us to feel concerned about, to just that kind of sit in the back of our minds, even when we're doing something else and they just um, gnaw at us. But friends, God knows best. We know that. We know uh, that he made us, he designed us, and he knows what's best for us. And he is calling us to rejoice day by day in him. And so I truly believe that we can make the decision to do that. And at first, you might not feel like it. Uh, it might feel, you might even feel like a hypocrite. Like it's, uh, like you're being false to yourself, that you're lying to yourself or you're lying to others by choosing to rejoice. Uh, but I am so amazed how often when I make the decision to be obedient, that those feelings follow and I find myself in a much better place than I was when I was just kind of following how I was feeling naturally. And so I think uh, that there's a few things that we can do uh, to be intentional in our rejoicing. And, you know, I know that uh, sometimes when someone is going through something hard and I've said to them, you know, that's really rough, I'm sorry. And, and they've responded with, oh, well, someone out there has it worse. 
and and I get that it's good to have perspective, right? You know, a lot of the troubles that we go through, uh, a lot of the troubles that I go through are, are mild in comparison to what a lot of people have dealt with uh, throughout history or are dealing with in other parts of the world. But I think that um, we can sometimes not actually deal with the root issue that way. You know, grief is grief, sorrow is sorrow, pain is pain. And uh, it's important to look to God in that, not to be looking to, oh, well, someone else has it worse, and so I'm just going to not pay attention to what's going on with me. Uh, but instead, like I said, perspective's good, but instead in those moments uh, to stop and to be honest with God, say, Lord, you know how I'm feeling. You see my heart. You see my mind. Um, and so instead of just ignoring this thing, I want to offer it up to you. And again, I want to ask you what you have for me in return. And so I encourage you uh, day by day, day uh, to make a list to start just in the morning and the first thing when you open your eyes think of a couple things that you're grateful for and you know these run the spectrum right so I think it's important to get a couple faith-based ones in there so for instance something that I am grateful for is that God is perfectly holy and he is uh, full of perfect grace as well and that is a mind-blowing thought uh, that God is righteous so he is good so he's always right uh, but yet he wanted to be with me. He wanted uh, me to experience his love and his grace and his fullness. And so he made a way for me to get to him. I'm so grateful for that. And so it can be things like that. You know, I'm grateful that Jesus has forgiven me for my sins. I'm grateful that his Holy Spirit fills me and gives me the power that I need uh, to do the things that he wants me to do. And so list a few of those. And then you can look to your material blessings as well blessings that come in the form of people and relationships. Uh, so, you know, I am thankful for my husband. I'm thankful, you know, that we um, have been together for almost 12 years in August. I'm thankful that he's patient with me. I'm thankful that he's kind to me. You can just start listing things like that and make sure you tell the person as well. Um, and then, you know, I'm thankful for, and I might get made fun of for this, but I'm thankful for my cats. I have two, I have two cats and they bring so much joy into my life and I look at them and I just think um, you know I'm so grateful that I'm able to take care of them that I'm able to uh, have them in my in my life and so just look around your your life like that and you will find so much to be grateful for and I'm grateful for my friendships as well. I'm grateful for friends who uh, know me, who uh, know my uh, all of my junk and who love me anyways and who bear with me, warts and all. And uh, so yeah, make that list, but then make sure that you let someone know about it. So try to send a couple text messages today or if you're a phone person, uh, make a couple phone calls and let people know that you're grateful for them, that they make your life better. And you will be amazed at how when you practice gratitude, about how when you're intentional about the things um, that are in your life that are good, how that joy will just start to uh, bubble up and how you'll just notice it more and more and more. So I would love to know, even in the comments below, the things that you're grateful for. I'm going, I've listed a few of mine. I have so many more, uh, but I'd love to hear in the comments the things uh, that you are rejoicing in uh, today because of God's goodness to us. And so that wraps us up for another day, friends. Again, I want to just say, uh, if you're watching this and you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, uh, but you want to, or if you have questions about who Jesus is and what he means, uh, I would love to be chatting with you more about that. And so again, if you go to our website and uh, you hit the About tab, you'll see uh, a staff button that you can hit and our staff members are listed there, our pictures are there and you can just click on the picture to send us an email. And I'd love uh, to be talking with you more about that because friends, Jesus truly is the answer. Uh, in him is life and peace and joy forevermore. And so I would love to be dialoguing with you about that. So again, please join me tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, uh, as we do another one of these devotionals. I've loved connecting with you this way, and I hope to see you tomorrow. So friends, my prayer for you today uh, is that you do truly rejoice in who Jesus is, in his presence in your life, and in the bounty of blessings that he's given to you. So today, uh, go with God, friends.